The barges, which will be used for temporary housing, they will be arriving in two days, according to Port Arthur Mayor Derek Freeman. It will be docked at the Port of Port Arthur. Our Jackie Massey joins us in studio with details on how this will work and who will be housed on these barges. Jackie. Kevin and Erica, the barges will be for Port Arthur residents who were evacuated San Antonio and Dallas. People currently living in shelters will be transferred over there as well, according to County Judge Jeff Brannick. To live from shelter to shelter is hard enough. But at this moment, right now, now you're talking about putting me on a barge. Gwendolyn Donahue is not happy with the temporary housing coming to Port Arthur. She was rescued from her home during Harvey and is currently staying at the Red Cross shelter at the Thomas Jefferson Middle School. The next place she lives could look like this. It's a barge and FEMA is providing two of these that will hold about 300 people each on the port of Port Arthur. But I'll say again, I'm not a fish, I'm not a crab, I'm not a shrimp, because I don't know nothing about being on a boat. Mayor Freeman says the barges are expected to arrive in two days, but County Judge Jeff Brannick says other options are being looked at as well. FEMA and the Texas Division of Emergency Management will give options like mobile homes, trailers, and shelters. Other displaced residents like Patricia Mooney say they would not mind staying on a barge. Nice place, you know, to regroup, you know, get yourself together, you know, give it a try. Well, no less you try. Mayor Freeman says three meals a day will be offered at the barges along with laundry and satellite TV. Officials are also looking into separating the men and women inside and will also have security in place. And I asked Judge Brannick if there is a screening process to prevent sex offenders or criminals from coming onto the barge. And he assured me that security measures are in place and there will be a vetting process to protect the residents. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the purpose of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. You have the right to take it down.